What is up guys, Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day because we are heading down to Santa Monica Moto Club to see the world exclusive unveiling of the brand new 2020 Aprilia RSV4X, one of 10 uh, motorcycles in the world. They are $50,000 each, 225 horsepower, and they are freaking insane. So without further ado, let's get this vlog started. Alex, Teen's little brother is gonna be joining me. Teen's is being a little bitch boy and staying home. This is a cold start of a Z06 Corvette with the Armitrix exhaust system. <laughs> so Alex and I were just talking about the fact that uh, the C7 Corvette came out, I think in 2014 they released this platform. It had a digital dash plus a touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay. Think about it. Think about how impressive that is for this car. There's still cars that are like legit sports cars that don't have digital dashes. Yeah. Or Apple CarPlay. Yeah, or Apple CarPlay. It's freaking insane. And we also have an absolutely stunning view right here. Actually, this is Rincon right here, the brake Rincon, one of the world-class brake. Dude, you see these waves down there? That's crazy. Holy shit, there might be a good swell out there. Check it out, guys. Cruising through Malibu right now. Flexing on the town. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's not sunny, but uh, a lot of Hollywood stars who live in and around this place. And uh, it's funny, I always thought Malibu would be like this super crazy cool looking town. It feels a little run down, doesn't it, Alex? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Hopefully, we can like stop passing all these buildings and actually get a view of the beach. Yeah, the beaches are really cool though, yeah. for sure. All right, we have arrived at Santa Monica Moto Club. We got some boys that just heading out right now. X uh, Diablo, uh, BMW R9T. Ducati Monster with uh, Termi pipes that sounds really good. Check that bike out. That thing is nasty. I love it. And then we got another Z06 Corvette here, surprisingly. Another white monster. But uh, yeah, this is a badass shop. I like this shop. I'll take you guys inside in a second. Uh, these are 2019 Aprilias. That's the 1100 factory. This is uh, one year newer than the build that we just did. But you can see how different that looks from our bike. It's crazy, huh? Cars look so much better with the belly panel and all the carbon and stuff. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Here's an old school RSE4 RF, uh, BMW S1000 RR, the older gen model. Cool ass bike. And then they have a uh, 2019 RC4. This is just the RR model, so it doesn't have like the Olins and all that kind of stuff, but still a really, really good bike. And I think they're only like 16-ish thousand, something like that. Pretty badass. In here is the showroom. They have all kinds of beautiful uh, stuff on display. Some really cool bikes. Look at this Yamaha. I think this is an old school, uh, what is it? Race bike. It might be a, I don't think it's, not a 125. This looks like a world super bike, R1. That is freaking sick, man. I don't know, look at that. Gray's exhaust on it. Yeah, it's an R1. It's a race, race bike R1. Super cool. They've got a uh, Norton Dominator. Check this thing out. These are super rare. I actually really like this thing. Looks like carbon there on the front fender. Look, Brembo, Olin's suspension. This tank looks really nice. Brushed aluminum. Maybe it's steel, I don't even know. Look at the dash. That's super cool, man. I love the leather grips. It's badass. That's crazy. Even this tail section is so cool. Look at this design. I think this is carbon too. It is. Yeah, it's back carbon. Wow, dude, that's a really cool bike, man. Black Olean suspension in the back. Look at how cool that shit is. Dude, I would totally rock one of these. That is really nice. Is it a single pipe? Oh, dual exhaust pipes. I bet that sounds really, really good. I'll have to ask him for a startup maybe. Over here we have another, uh, ooh, this is an MV Agusta. I think this is a custom build. Might have to ask Victor about this one. Oh, it is for sale. Yeah. Wow. 29,000 or best offer. It's a MV Agusta Brutale 800, some sort of special edition. Wow, that is really cool. Never seen one before. It's got a number three on it. I wonder if it's because there's only three of them. I don't know. If anybody knows in the comment section below, let me know. That is freaking cool, man. Look at that. Single-sided swing arm, custom exhaust with a carbon tip on it. It's like sack suspension. Thing looks really cool, man. I dig it. Got a uh, RSC4 1100 factory over here. This is one of the most powerful uh, leader bikes available right now on the market. This is super cool. 
got the uh, Marchesini forged aluminum wheels, awesome racing, um, ceramic coated black exhaust system, Bonamassi, Bonamassi, uh, Bonamassi rear sets, racing rear sets, and I like how they did the uh, carbon covers. They look really nice. It's a really, really nice bike right there, guys. That is super cool. And then we got another uh, Aprilia race bike, RSV4. I don't even know what this is. Some sort of custom race bike, I believe, that Santa Monica probably helped build. That is super cool. But of course, this is what we're here for, the Aprilia RSV4 X to commemorate the 10th, of the 10th year of the RSV4. And this is one of 10 in the whole world. $50,000 track only and uh, this is one of uh, Victor's customers bought this bike So we're gonna be doing an unveiling very shortly. Uh, Aprilia is actually here. They're gonna be talking about it So uh, I'll be filming it for you guys. Stay tuned All right, here we go guys Mama mia This thing is crazy. Oh my god. Oh yes. Folks, here it is, the world exclusive first look at the 2020 Aprilia RSV4 X. It's called the X or 10 because there's only 10 made in the whole world and it's the 10th anniversary of the RSV4 platform. So you're looking at 225 horsepower, 365 pounds. We're not sure if that's dry or wet. Uh, we're gonna find out here. I brought my scales to uh, toss it up on the scales. I was just chatting with the owner, Lucas, about it. This is gonna be his dedicated track bike. He will be riding it. Um, it does have Marchesini forged magnesium wheels. It's got this new Brembo, Brembo GP4 calipers. I think they're $3,000 just for these calipers, nickel plated. They're the step up from the ones I used on the uh, Tuono. T-Drive rotors, the same rotors we use on the Tuono. It is full carbon bodywork, um, but it is painted, so you can see the carbon in uh, some parts. Hey, imagine that, guys, full carbon. I wonder why people use carbon, because it's the lightest material in the world. Um, it does have some spider accessories. One other really cool thing about this bike, guys, the, uh, the gears are set up uh, world superbike style, so um, neutral is all the way down, and you can only get into neutral by clicking this little lever right here. So otherwise, it's quick shifter up and down, but all the gears are up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up, and then six, five, four, three, two, one. Won't ever go into neutral unless you click this little thing right here, and then neutral's all the way down. Pretty freaking insane, guys. It's, it's a really, really special bike. You can see right here, this is number nine. And uh, only two came to the US. One is in San Francisco, one is here in Santa Monica. And uh, Victor was a big part of getting this bike to uh, Lucas, the new owner. You can see the uh, MotoGP style World Superbike buttons right here. It does have a lightweight tank. So this is a composite tank. It's not carbon, it's not aluminum, but it's composite. Um, obviously it's not street legal. This is a track only bike, so it does come with slicks on it. Uh, there's no lights, no uh, uh, turn signals or anything like that. It does have the uh, Brembo NIX, uh, I'm sorry, it does have the Olin's, Olin suspension front and rear. They are the uh, NIX top of the line, I'm sorry, TTX rear shock, and I believe NIX front uh, suspension. And then this thing is just absolutely insane. So there you go, guys. A world exclusive first look at the brand new 2020 Aprilia RSV4 X. Let me know what you guys think of this thing in the comment section below. I would love to one day own something like this because it really is a piece of art. Wow. All right, so we're weighing some bikes here. Uh, this Yamaha race bike, what is the deal with this bike? It's a great super bike. A great super bike? Okay, cool. So uh, look at the weight on this, guys. 378 pounds, dude. That's the lightest. That's the lightest bike I've ever had on my scales. That is freaking crazy. We're gonna weigh the other ones too, so stay tuned. 
All right, so next on the scale is the uh, Prillia race bike. This was actually, um, so it's a, it's a 2016 RZ4RF. Okay. That we, that we added lights to, yeah, to okay. make it legal. Street legal, yep. but it also has tons of carbon fiber, upgraded carbon brakes, fiber, everything. Carbon yeah. fiber, forged wheels. It's insane. Yeah. All right, so what do we got here? Four hundred and Four hundred and twelve pounds, plus people are holding yeah. it and stuff, so either way, that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's freaking crazy. Four twelve for that one. Yeah, very nice. All right, another Aprilia track bike. Is this, is this your bike? Yes. This is your bike? Look at that guy. 399 boys! Hell yeah! Wow! Very nice, dude. 390 what? 399. Yeah. It's almost everywhere. Almost okay, but it does have fluids and stuff. It depends on the gas, you know, how much gas is in the tank. He's a little bit. Yeah. He's lifting it. Where's 400? 400, right at 400. Yeah. So that's that's pretty crazy. The, the, the fuel amount is gonna drastically change this, but that's super cool. Yeah. All right, weighing the 2020 RSV4 X. Let's see how much this weighs. 411 pounds. So keep in mind, guys, this is very dependent on how much fuel. It's a full tank of gas. That's a fuel. Okay, so four and a half gallons. Is that what this is? Completely topped off. That's 40 pounds. So you figure you take half that weight. You're 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 taking 20 pounds off that. Puts it at 390. So I think most factories weigh their bikes at 90% fuel, which is gonna put this under 400 pounds. So that's freaking awesome, dude. Wow, that's crazy. That's badass. All right, no, it's good. What's your first name? Dean, yeah. Dean? okay, Dean brought his uh, MV Agusa Dragster 800 in here, 2020 model, I believe. And we got it up on the scales right now, 400 and 13 pounds. That's yeah, wow. crazy light, dude. That's really light. That's, that's fully wet ready to go so that's a beautiful bike man that's sick all right so we weighed a stock rsv4 this is an rr right yeah an rr uh just to give you an idea there's almost no gas in this bike 441 pounds you put a full tank of gas in here that's probably another 30 pounds or more so you're looking at 470 ish stock weight so that gives you an idea how light these bikes yet these other bikes were at 380 and 400 pounds and 411 like that's pretty insane so yeah there you go guys craziness all right, so things are winding down here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thank you to Victor from Santa Monica Moto Club for putting on this cool event. Lucas, uh, the RSC4X owner, for letting us check out his bike, weighing all these things and having such a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.